Langley out of his own zone to center. Whiteley sets it up for Pascarich right side into the Chilliwack zone. Pulls it in front. They score. Evan Campbell made his way to the net. Pascarich floated that one across. It beat Mitch Gillum. And just like last night, the Chiefs have given up an early goal. Riverbend score on the power play. Evan Campbell's got the marker his 10th of the year. It's 1-0 Langley early on. That was way too easy for Langley to be scoring on Chilliwack like that. The Chilliwack Chiefs coaching staff has got to be, gotta be concerned about that. That was a a floated pass right across, I believe it beat Ben, ben Masella to the back door, and Evan Campbell just had an easy tap in there. Eric Roberts inside his own line, turns it over to Cope. Cope and deep, a wrist shot, he scores. That was a great shot. He beat Mitch Gillum clean to the short side. Eric Roberts turned it over. Trevor Cope with the goal, his 10th of the year. Short side on Gillum, up high over the blocker. And the Langley Riverman with 4.42 left in the first period. Lead 2 to nothing. Uh, that was a tap for Eric Roberts, just not able to chip the puck out across the defensive blue line and Cope, he, he was uh, he made no mistake on that he didn't have much area to shoot at at all to go in the period 48 seconds to go in the Nielsen penalty Tanner Johnson now or Langley moves to the high slot on Esposito down low one time where they score that got through Mitch Gillum at the side of the net another goal for Langley James Robinson with the marker and the Chiefs trail three to nothing the league best penalty kill not bailing them out right now that's two goals for Langley played into the corner forced her onto it had it knocked off his stick Langley taking over Austin beaten back wearing number nine long outlet that missed Azurdia back come the Chiefs Nielsen left side Surrey zone big shot stop by bar rebound they score Matthew Tibbet Well, there's some energy, Cam. Certainly Matthew Tibbet can't provide such things. And now that's two goals in as many games. Tibbet has the marker. Chiefs are back in the game. It's 3-1. Matthew Tibbet, smartest thing he did today in pregame warm-up is put his stick on that, the forehead. That's right. Cam Campbell, I told him he would score tonight. And it uh, brings a smile to my face that I can help uh, from the grave. Not that I'm dead, but it's an old picture. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. That's what Cam's saying. Against Mitch McLean, Skrubowski, Tibbet, and back and scoop up as many loonies as you can. The other thing, too, have you ever picked up a dime or a quarter or a loonie off the ice? It's pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm not sure if they freeze them or what they do, but... I know they put them in the freezer. You, you would have th thought, you would have hoped if you won this competition that they'd be a little more centralized, but they're spread throughout the whole neutral zone, so it's uh, between both blue lines, and so it's a tough one. They'll walk away with a couple hundred bucks each. Cuts around Eric Roberts. He's got it left corner on his backhand. At the left point for Austin Beatenbeck. Now Sutliff at the left wing boards behind the net. Nathan Kraft centers. They score. Mitch McLean. That one snuck through the five hole of Mitch Gillum. He's upset with himself there. Instead, it's Langley with the early goal in the third period. And now the Rivermen are up by a score of four to one. Mitch Gillum still wondering how that one got through. Mitch McLean in tight. The paddle of the stick was at the side of the goal instead, Cam. That five hole was open just a touch. And Mitch McLean was able to sneak it through. Langley's got a 4 1 lead. Behind the goal as play resumes here. Esposito back out there. Now Plevy left left corner. A sharp angle shot. He scores. Austin Plevy snuck it in over the shoulder. Plevy sneaks one in on his old team from Darren Hogg. The goal for Plevy. Another one against his former club. He's got 17 on the year. And that was a big one. Chiefs are back in it now. It's a two-goal hockey game with 14-13 left. And Austin Plevy just caught... Darren Hogg going down to one knee, and he had no other options. There was three guys on Austin Plevy, but he found found a way. And we have a we have a hockey game on our hand here. Espo, drag move, cuts to the net. Espo shoots, stopped by Hogg. It's loose. They get one. They score. Alex Brontane right in front. It might be Plevy. He's celebrating. It could be his. There was a big scramble in front. Plevy celebrating like it belongs to him. Either way, two goals in 15 seconds and they'll show it up on the board here they were jamming away it was at the paddle of the goal stick from hogg bron fontaine whacked away i'm pretty sure that was bron fontaine in front i still can't really tell chiefs will take it either way of course we're just trying to figure out now a timeout call by bobby anderson and why not i'm going to be uh I'm going to go on the opposite side of that and say it was austin plebby yeah we'll, we'll both we got a 50 okay. 50 chance because right. they were both there and if it is Austin Plevy's mark, it, it has shades and, and a remembrance of Donahoe scoring two goals 
Well, it was Espo that had two. Espo had and two, Donahoe and Donahoe tied the, game. tied the game. There we go. I knew That's you right. So that shades one. of November the 7th, which I continue to bring up. Not just doing that for my health. Could be happening again here. It's now a 4-3 hockey game. Because Plummy celebrated like it was his. He jumped into the glass. If you jump into the glass on a celly and it's not your goal, that's, I don't know. I, I don't know, Mark. <laughs> if you would have looked to your right, you would have seen me celebrating like it was mine. Because after, <laughs> after watching a pretty uh, lackluster effort, having some kind of excitement, I got the blood, the juices going there a that's little bit. That's right. We'll, we'll wait the call. I'll play back underway here in the third period. Now the Chiefs look energized. David Thompson at center. Got to corral that energy, though, of course. Anderson, cross ice. Onto the stick. Oh, Butcher throws it in front. They score. It went off of Jared Babbage and into the net. Oh, my goodness. Langley gets a cheapy. A two-goal lead now for the Rivermen with 7.07 to go. Oh, what a heartbreaker for Chilliwack. My goodness. A puck that was thrown to the net from the right circle. Babbage was on his knees at the side of the goal. It somehow got by Mitch Gillum. And the Langley Rivermen have a two-goal lead with 7.07 left. Saucer pass. Thompson couldn't handle it. Mitch McLean will carry out to center. It's a two-on-one. McLean's going to hit the empty net, and he puts this one to bed. The Rivermen are going to win this hockey game, 6-3. to three. Mitch McLean, who scored the goal early in the third period, he gets one late in the third period, and the Langley Rivermen, for just the fourth time this season, are going to win a game on the road, and they're going to do so at Prospera Center. It is 6-3 with 11.9 seconds left. 